respected dignitaries on the dais and dear friends. The management is very important, either it is politics or business. Without management, it is very difficult. Someone say he is very absolutely correct that you can donate I, but you cannot donate vision. The management and managerial skill is very important for your future, for your vision. And for the vision, the knowledge, science, and technology is the power. These are very three important things, knowledge, science, and technology. And conversion of knowledge, science, and technology into the wealth, that is the conversion of knowledge into wealth is the future. As India's case is concerned, we are a rich nation with a poor population. And the basic need to improve the management and appropriate vision. And uh, one of the, my experience in government, particularly our administrative and bureaucratic system, we need to change attitude, approach, behavior, and decision-making process. Either it is a private management or government management. The leader needs fast-track decision-making process. Today, a lot of people who are on the big post, they are not interested to take the decision. Because their argument is not taking decision is a good policy. And this is also one of the big problem. The management, the manager, either it is in corporate, either it is in government or in politics, you have to take the decisions. When I was minister in Maharashtra, I gave one slogan that I like people who can get the things done. Then somewhere I say that is not correct. That was my experience coming through frustration. That even I like dishonest people who can take the decisions. But I dislike honest people who don't want to take the decisions. So the problem is that everywhere, in every sector, it is the time for the people who lead the country, who lead the management, who lead the corporate, who lead the social entrepreneurship, everywhere. We have to take the decisions. And for the decision, we need positive approach. Without positive approach, development-oriented approach, you cannot solve the problems. People are more discussing about the problems. But my suggestion is we should think about more about solutions. Because discussing the problem and to create an atmosphere that the someone is responsible for that, it's a good habit. But what I feel that Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru expressed it as a, India is not a nation, it is a population. And every person is a problem. So I am going to solve only one problem that I should not become a problem for the country. If everyone decides it, it solves a lot of problems. As a, my experience in the government as my ministry, when I taken charge as a minister, there was project 283 projects on National Highway. The project was stuck up due to forest environment clearance, land acquisition problem, litigation, railway overbridges, lack of administrative decisions. The number of projects was 283 and uh, cost involved in it was 3,80,000 crores. So I just asked one question to my chief engineer in the department. You take 15 days time to sign on the file. The project is of 2,000 crore. Can you never imagine that what is the interest cost? If you are not getting salary at the first, if it is going to third or fourth day, then uh, you are so fed up, frustrated, and you are very uncomfortable because at the first you are not getting salary. But when the person who invests 2,000 crores 
and you don't want to take the decision on the file for 15 days, 20 days, month, what will the effect without taking this decision and without signing that file, what is the impact of that? Do you understand? Now the problem is that government is no one is going to understand. The time is the word which is missed in the dictionary of government. So no one is going to bother about the time. Time is very important. And for the best management, we should have a time-bound decision, fast-track decision-making process. Somewhere there may be mistakes. If the mistakes are bona fide, forgive them. If the mistakes are malafide, then you can sack them. But at the same time, when anyone try to do something, there may be mistake. It is obvious. Because sometime, whatever his intention may be, with a good intention, there may be some mistakes are there. That's why I, my suggestion is for bona fide mistakes, forgive them. And the most important thing is, the person who commit the mistakes, give him advice that don't commit this mistake in future. Rectify yourself. So my feeling is that these are the very, very important and small issues related with the management. Today in our country, there is also a one problem that is with the leadership. Respect should not be commanded, demanded. Respect should not be demanded, it should be commanded. If you do this for it, you will get it. But sometime, in the situation is that it is difficult for the leader, he never thinks about his follower. And distance between the follower and leaders is more than you cannot convert into any problems, any situation, into success story. I always say a one example of mathematics. The A person works A square and B person works B square. The total work is A square plus B square. But when A and B comes together, thinks together and works together, that is A plus B bracket square equal to A square plus B square plus twice AB. And this twice AB is a result of collective team spirit. I, as a minister, I go to any office to meet any secretary, any deputy secretary, any joint secretary. And in a meeting, I say, if you want to criticize me, you can criticize me. Either you convince me or convince by me. One of my private secretary was telling me that as far as protocol is concerned, you are not expected to go into the chamber of secretary. Well, what is protocol? So protocol is not a word in my dictionary. So I'm not going to bother about it. Somewhere the majority minister, they think about the protocol, the police protection, the car. These are all, there is no relevance all these things have in your career. If suppose I lose my ministership, within a fraction of a second, all policemen, security, guard, they leave me and they go to their home. No one is going to ask me what happens to me. Because these are temporary things. So today, the firm commitment for development, fast-track decision-making process, team spirit, and a positive approach, very essential in government. Then majority people in the government, they, they are good football player. <laughs> they have got the expertise of dodging the ball from one side to other side. This is not a correct approach. If it's correct, do it. If it is not correct, don't do it. Say no. But don't play with the problems. And this is one of the big problem in the bureaucratic system. As a minister, it is our responsibility to improve the system. I remember once I, in this hotel, I was in one conference. Thus, one of the person from the, he was sitting very back to the hall, and he asked me the question, what is about this 1890 act? He was quoting me about something problem related with the shipping. I said, what is 1890? Well, 1890 act is in your department. And this uh, act is uh, outdated. I say, is it so? I don't know. So I just go to office and call the secretary. What is 1890 act? Well, sir, yes. This act is 1890, 1915. I just see, but now the 
country is changed, environment is changed, world is changed, and you are practicing the act of 1890. Give me all, tell me all information about it and destroy it, thrown it out. Immediately I appoint a committee under the director of shipping and say, oh, you close all this act. What is this? So after that, I get the info, there are 20 acts which are outdated. So in Maharashtra, when I was minister, there was also one notification that if anyone come to minister, you can offer him tea, then one sweet biscuit, one salty biscuits, one cream biscuits, and the cost per head will be 40 paisa. Sunkar, I have secretary to say, my dog is coming, I am giving a biscuit, what have you written? He said, no sir, this is the circular of the GAD. I feel that we should be practical. So today, my experience about my management in my department, my priority is, in a positive approach, how we can solve the problem. So today, it's a great pleasure and pride for me that out of 283 projects, 3,80,000 crores, 95% of the problems are now solved. When uh, 41 project we have terminated, and only just 10 projects, 10, 12 projects we are facing some problems. Within, uh, before one, in, within one month, we will solve that problem. There is no problem. So today I go to any conference and make people talking about the back history. I just say them, please tell me where is the problem, in which road there is a problem. And these are all problem, 90% government was responsible for that. It's not the contractor, not the investor. Two and a half year, the Environment Finance Ministry never signed on a single file. The land acquisition process is delayed, three years, four years. Now the railway have adopted a policy, online system, by which they are clearing the designs of fly, uh, railway ROB, railway over bridges and underpass. So now the system is changed. So it is the responsibility to the government and particularly the political ministers who are responsible for the development of the country. They are supposed to solve the problems. It will not be appropriate that we can say that the bureaucracy is worse, the problems are, they, they are doing so. This is not the correct approach. If the bureaucracy is not working properly, it is the responsibility of the political leadership to change them. So today, under the leadership of Narendra Modi ji, we have committed four important things. One is innovation, entrepreneurship, e-governance, and the development-oriented approach. And these are the very four important things and at the same time, what I want to suggest to you, you have to think about how we can encourage more employment potential in this country. Yesterday, we declared one policy. It's a simple policy. Nothing, just it's only a policy change. In our uh, department, now, after taking the charge of the minister, I signed the road contracts of more than 1,35,000 crores. And today, 3,80,000 crores are works are going on on NHI. 50,000 works on, on the, with the department. 1 lakh crores of works in Northeast Road Development Corporation who are working there. Money is not a problem. Technology is not a problem. Problem is the mindset of not taking decisions. Every file moves on 16 tables, 20 tables, 18 tables. I never understand. So today, I appointed a committee with the expert that why you are making so much moving this file from table to table. So we can find out a solution for that. So now, yesterday we have taken a decision that in every contract, there is 1% provision for plantation of tree, transplantation, plantation, beautification, and maintenance of the trees, green highway. I make the provision that out of 1% cost, we will take it that amount somewhere in a other account, and we will encourage the experts, either they may be charitable organization, educational institution, NGOs, contractors, private people, anybody, who, are, who have expertise in tree plantation. 
And yesterday there was a big conference. 3,000 people from India were present. And we are making the provision of, within five years, provision of 5,000 crores to making of our highways convert into a green highway. And the most important thing is, I am not spending anything new. It is already in the budget. I am only taking 1% from that cost where the responsibility is with the contractor. I am taking it to the other account and giving this responsibility to the, the persons, those who are expertise in plantation, transplantation, beautification, and maintenance. And the most important thing is, this decision is going to help to create employment to the 5 lakh people of rural India. They have to start nursery, they have to take plantation, and for the villagers, particularly the rural India in agriculture sector, they will get the employment opportunity. So this is the most important thing that where we have to give priority for the development. The industry and agriculture, these are the two important things. I am from agriculture. And the second important philosophy is very important, that is conversion of waste into wealth. And people like you, you can make the more research on this subject. When I, I am from Nagpur, four years before, we have taken a decision that we will sell our toilet water, sewage water of Nagpur Municipal Corporation to the government of Maharashtra. My mayor and commissioner, they both lost me. Sir, how this is possible? I say, yes, this is possible. We make a big plant, recycling plant. And from last two years, we are selling our water to the government of Maharashtra Electricity Board. And we are getting 18 crore rupees per year from our toilet water. But when I visited Sweden in Stockholm, I see that in Stockholm, there is a system. From that water, they get methane, by methane, bifurcate, methane, and CO2 from that, they get bio CNG, and they are running their buses. Suppose only if we can implement this project in India, in the municipal corporation, at least lakhs of buses you can run on this bio CNG. Today, as a minister, we have already taken a decision for biodiesel, ethanol, bio CNG, all standards we have fixed up and we are giving permission, you go on this line. So this can be a line where we can encourage the people. Uh, probably it's one of the successful example. Now the, in everywhere in city there are hair cutting saloons and uh, beauty parlors are there. And the, the hairs are cutting there and it's a waste product. So Mahatma Gandhi Vigyan Institute in Varda, I just seen that they are making amino acid from the hairs. So I, that idea that will click to me. And we have started one small industry by conversion of that hairs into amino acid. Amino acid is a good agriculture chemical, giving very fantastic results. And the rate of amino acid per liter in multinational company is 900 rupees per liter. So we start a project. And starting the the youth, particularly from the related with the hair cutting saloon, that we are ready to purchase hairs with 50 rupees per kg. So 50 to 60 youth, they start their business. They are going to beauty parlor and hair cutting saloon and they are taking the hairs and giving to the factory. So today we are taking all the hairs from Vidarbha, the shortage is there. So we take one truck of hairs from Tirupati and we are making that amino acid and it is really a very success story. Now, we are selling it with 300 rupees, 100 rupees margin to educate the unemployed youth in that agriculture and rural area, and giving a very fantastic results. And it is helpful to the farmers. And now this is giving employment to at least 200 people. So conversion of waste into wealth, it is very important. And the technology is the key of success. Research is very important. And at the same time, training is very important. The training and research, these are really important things for our country, for the society, and everywhere. And now I feel that it is the technology, innovation, entrepreneurship, e-governance, these are the important words 
probably every time our prime minister is using this word. There are problems. Problems are everywhere. We need a leadership where the leadership have a capability who, have, who can change problems into opportunities. But we have some people in the management and the leadership, those who are converting opportunities into the problems. So don't blame to anybody. Let us take the responsibility. Accountability, transparency is very essential. And I feel that we can make miracles. We have got technology, we have got research, resources, but the strong political will is very important. For in any management everywhere, in any type of leadership, the strong political will is the basic strength for the success. I am just giving you the example. When I was in minister in Maharashtra, I start uh, that Bombay Pune Express Highway work. At that time, we received the tender for Express Highway from a big industrial group. The cost of tender was 3,600 crore. I'm talking about 97, 97, 98. <coughs> when the cost was 3,600 crore at that time, I say there was a big controversy at that time in Mumbai and Maharashtra. We reject that proposal. And we decided to construct that road on our own. That was criticized by many people. But when we started work, I was in Pune, in Meet the Press. One of the journalists at that time, he asked me the question, how much time you will have to complete this project? I said, two and a half year. How much amount you have? I give answer, whatever with me, 10 crore rupees. What will be the cost? I said 2,000 crores. Then the all journalists, they laugh and they say, you politician come here and making any declaration and you are expecting that we should publish your views. What is with you? On what level? How you can say that you can complete this road within two and a half years? So I just give an answer that if there is a will, there is a way. And if there is no will, there is only survey, discussion, seminar, committee, subcommittee, and research group. And the majority of the intellectual people are very much interested in seminars and workshops. I don't have any faith on this. This is a vestige of time. It's very essential. But you have to deliver. Delivery is very important. And in my experience, when I execute that project, I completed that project with two and a half year. The cost which is quoted by Reliance was 3,600 crore. We completed with 1,600 crore. 2,000 crore saving was there. <laughs> and it is one of the fine express highway in the country. So the reason is for the strong political will. When I'm going to capital market at that time, we, do, we have only 10 crore with us. But our, our subscribe amount for the raising bonds was somewhere 400 crores first time. We get, I'm not a professional, I'm not like Mr. Uh, <laughs> all our big people. I was a small middle class person, belongs to agriculture family. And everyone was saying, who is going to give the money? What you talk about, it's totally irrelevant. No one is going to give the money. But for 400 crore, we receive 1,180 crore. I'm talking in 1998, oversubscribed. The second time for 500 crore, 1,050 crores. And with the 10 crores equity, I raised 4,000 crores from the capital market. And within a two and a half year, we complete the work of 8,000 crores in Maharashtra. And all projects are successful. And now the money, whatever we raise, is going back to the investor. So this is possible. I feel that it's on the strong political wheel with my team and my all engineers, those who work very hard. So my suggestion is the concept of management is related with the decision-making process, transparency, at the same time the vision, commitment, and the development-oriented approach. And we need an economy which can eradicate the poverty and increasing more employment potential. And the two important things which I want to convey you that let us concentrate on rural and agriculture sector. They need more concentration. There is a huge capital. In the tribal area, poverty is a big problem. 
but now there is lot of things forest based handloom handicrafts many things where you can create employment potential for the poor people i feel that the people like you those who have a vision for future commitment and the managerial skill definitely the people like you can make miracles i only say that you are the more expert i am a politician i don't time to get thinking and other thing because when i am in the constituency i meet 2000 people 3000 people i have got 16 secretaries and i started to meeting the people from 8 o'clock up to 3 o'clock so sometime it is very difficult for we people to concentrate to make research and study and making experiments it's not practically possible but i feel that people like you who can contribute for the country and for the society and for that purpose the social entrepreneurship also a good thing think about poor i always feel that the politics is an instrument of socio economic reform and the people like you who are committed for the progress and development of the country and the society at the same time there is no question you can think about you yourself also because for every person it's a very clear concept that no philosophy can be taught to empty stomach so there is no doubt about that you should have your project your vision your commitment your progress there is no problem about it but at the time when you think about yourself at the same time think about the poor people where you can be helpful for them for giving them more employment and i feel that agriculture tourism these are the sector where lot of potential is there i will give you best luck and best wishes for working for these poor people who want to change their socio economic life and the people like you with your initiative you can contribute the development of that area where they need more development thank you very much